off, let's put ourselves in the loving presence of our Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, Lord God, Lord Jesus Christ, my name, thank you for uh, this day, thank you for this opportunity that you have given us, O Lord. And, uh, thank you for uh, bring, bringing us safe dito sa venue for our safety to be on our response. So, mga participants and uh, we, uh, we call our God, Lord Jesus Christ, uh, we truly praise and worship you, O Lord, for everything that you have given us and our families, O Lord. Thank you for all the blessings, sa good health, and sa mga work namin na pinagkalong ko, O Lord. Maraming maraming salamat po. And as we continue to praise and worship you, Lord, we offer you this song. Oh, 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 oh,
perfect prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Hail, men, and full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us our sins, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without them.
coming from chapter 1b1. And in it, indeed it is really ano to eh, kung baga nang may uh, may point sa aking puso ang one video because this is where I have started. When I joined the uh, CLP, that was in 1998. Yeah, 1998. Because we are not 21 years in this community. So, I started from here as a member like you for for me, I'm also like uh, like you before, I was just sitting there listening to the talks. And truly God is really good. Amen. Because before, especially on the gospel for today, no? it's all about the lost. The lost is, there is always a special place in the heart of Jesus for your God. It doesn't mean that lost meaning we are totally lost. We are lost maybe because we are too preoccupied with our work. So we, our time was not really given to our dear God. So, but then you are here. Diba? Maybe in the beginning when someone has uh, called you to attend this here, maybe there is a hesitation. Diba? It's like it's normal. For, for us, it took us three and, and bites before we say yes to attend this CLP. But then there is always a time diba, when God calls you. Because God wants you to have a place in His heart through this community. Kaya I have started as a member when I was here already continuous again for 21 years we are handling now the family ministry of UA of Dubai but then I started like you as a member then as a household leader then as a unit leader then as a chapter head then as a cluster head, then now as a family name. So, God has called you because He has some purpose. Diba? Kaya nang tinawag dito. Because definitely, God has something for you. Especially in this talk as a family. A Christian family. So they want you to be united. To follow God's plan. God's purpose. Kaya, sayang na itin dito na ipakita yung video because this is all about about your 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 quality time between you as husband and you as wife. The importance of being together as one. God has put you together. Diba? Remember bro? Take a si sister. Kabit and you bro? Batangas, just imagine, you're from Cavite and he's from Batangas, pinagtagpo kayo ng Panginoon. Because God has given you this gift para sa'yo. Di ba? To me, I'm from Bicol. And my wife is from Pasig. Saan so kami pinagtagpo? So talagang God has planned for us, for each and every one of us. Kaya nga, it is, it is a gift. Binigay tayo sa isa't isa. Because... <coughs> Yan ang plano ng Panginoon. If God has given you this kind of gift, we have to take care of it, di ba? We have to treasure the gift that God has given us, di ba? Kailangan natin uh, pangalagahan itong gift na binigay natin. Binigay ng Panginoon sa atin. Kaya na ito, I would like to uh, discuss more about this Christian family. But before that, I would like to... This is my family. As what uh, Brother Eric mentioned, I have four children. Balance siya. Dalawang babae, dalawang lalaki. And malaki na yung pangalik ko eh, so ready to eight years old. There are two are in SFC and two in YFC. Youth for Christ and two is Singles for Christ. 
So, yung lalaki po pangatlo, the next year, he will be 22. So, he has to go in uh, single for a price na magpumuha na siya. Kasi there is a certain age group. So, this is my family. So, as I mentioned, 21 years in this community, hindi mo napansin. Talagang, ang pinis ng panahon na, although you have a lot of things that you do in this community, but you don't feel being tired because God has given you this strength in order for you to fulfill the ministries that God has given us to you, that given to you. Kaya, kaya for all the services that God has given us, we also always say, yes, Lord, I know this is from you, and we will accept it wholeheartedly. Kasi just imagine for the blessings that God has given to you all, with the simple things that we can do to God in this service, ito lang ang may bibigyan natin sa ating Panginoon in service natin sa Kanya. Kasi just imagine, if I just look at all, all the service thing, before their life, before not being in the community now, the blessings that they have received, the blessings that I have received from God, talagang hindi mapapantayan. Because He is so generous. Talagang kung ano man ang kahilingan nyo, sabi, just ask for it. And definitely God will answer your prayer. Kasama yun sa ating pag-ibis kasama. So, but then, when we talk about the family, okay, we make sure that we, as a family, we should have this strong relationship. Dapat laging matibay ang pagsasama natin bilang mag-asawa. Di ba? So, sino sa inyo ang more than five years na dito mag-asawa? More than five years. Less than five years, so? Oh, yan, less than five years. Bro, ano yun eh? Kung baga nang sabi niya na for the first five years, you are still in the balance in your, your relationship. But then, from that relationship that you have, in the long process of that, you will be able to know more about each other. Especially if you put your, the Lord in between your relationship. That talaga it will grow, it will prosper being a husband and wife. Kaya lang, Things, sometimes, sometimes things doesn't work, di ba? Sabi nga dito, family is under attack. Yeah. Marriage are being broken. Fortunately, walang divorce sa Pilipinas. Then kung may divorce siguro, marami nang nagpa-file ng uh, kanilang pagsiseparate. But it's good that it's not, uh, nasa, ano yun eh, nasa Senado and then hindi na ipasayin sa asa gawing lupatas eh, no? Kasi, kasi if you, ano, if you let it, ano, pass that kind of uh, report, that divorce, what will happen is, kunting, away, hiwalay tayo. Di ba? Na pwede naman pag-usapan. So that is the thing, you know, if you, I was looking at the, uh, the statistic about divorce in U.S. alone, the 50 percent of marriage hindi nagiging successful those divorce or legal separation. Kasi nga, kung ano, kung bagay nagiwalay. Iwalay niyo yung bukas may ibang asawa na. Nagpapakasal ulit. So, hindi, ano yun, hindi nag-work out pagka may inalawd yung divorce. And luckily, there are only two countries in this world na hindi allowed ang divorce. And one of us, ang ating bansa, Philippines. And the second one is Vatican City. Those are the two countries that divorce is not legal. <coughs> so, marami pa dyan eh. Hindi lang divorce. Abortion. Kapag 
time ko, yung na, na ano ko, kaya I can't believe that this is the figure that was given by the World, World Health Organization. Sabi dito, according to WSO, every year in the world, there are an estimated 40 to 50 million abortions in one year. And this corresponds to approximately 125,000 abortion per day. So just imagine, ano? What I'm talking about, some couples they are looking for children. But then, they don't have to, they just, akalan na ano yung pag-ahalan ka. So it's so sad to hear about this uh, figure. Isa pa, same sex marriage. As of 2019, there are 24 countries that allow this. Diba? Recently, nabasa ko sa dyaryo, dalawang babae, inasal. Dalawang lalaki, inasal. So, it happens, you know? So, kaya nga, at tayo, being uh, this, in this community, couples for Christ, we are, our, one of our core value of our community is rule life. And, but most important is rule God. Rule food. So, yun ang ating core values ng ating community. So, we have to face this attack and to come out with our families in life and even stronger. We need to prevent the breaking up of families to make our marriage more stronger or resilient. Kailapat, anibawa kayo, brother and sisters, may konting pagkakaunawaan, which is normal naman sa mag-asawa, dapat pinag-uusapan. Sit and discuss. And allow God to be with you on that discussion. Kasi, you allow God to be in the midst of your discussion, everything will fall. But magiging maging maayos ang inyong pag-uusap. Yeah. And if you have children around, make sure na mong ipakikita naman sa, sa, sa mga anak nyo na yung pag-aarling nyo. Kasi, it will register into the minds of your children. It's not just possible. You go inside your room. Don't let your children know that you are arguing or fighting. As it will register into the minds of our children. So what is God's purpose for marriage? And about purpose when it says here to make our marriage work, it is essential first and foremost that we fully understand what is marriage is all about. Diba? Dapat hindi. Dapat alam natin, ano ba itong pinasok ko bilang kami mag-asawa? It's, it's a long life commitment. Hindi ito pang panandalian, kundi ito talaga habang buhay mo na makakasama ang iyong husband o ang iyong wife. Diba? Kung maging Ano man maging itsura ng new wife, dati Coca-Cola body, <laughs> then after five years is maging Coca-Litro, <laughs> ano lang naman. Kasi ibig sabihin, mahal yung wife mo. Dahil marunong ka mag-alaga ng iyong wife. It's vice versa din, di ba? Yung husband din sa wife. So, and also, try to remember, brothers and sisters, the commitment, the solemn vows that you have made, that you have promised to our dear Lord. Diba? Nung nasa harapan kayo ng altar, ano sabi niyo, ano sabi ng pari sa inyo? For better or for worse, for richer and for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Di ba? Nung nag-aatayo ka dyan, ang sarapakin ka, di ba? So every time you are encountering any problems or difficulties in your marriage life, try 
to remember those solid verbs that you have promised me, Lord. You have, because if you remember both that, sa hirap at ginhawa, hindi yung puro ginhawa lang tayo magkasama. Dapat pati sa hirap magkasama tayo, magkatuwang tayo, ma we have to carry whatever difficulties in our marriage life. Magkasama tayo, magkaagapay, magkabisig kamay bilang mag-asawa. For us, for me, we've been married now for 30 years. Labing tatlumpot, tatlumpot taon na kami magkasama. Magkasama. The secret for that is always think about God first. And try to communicate. That is the most important. Sabi nga dito, what is the main reason why there's so many divorce happening? I thought the first reason is the infidelity. Premarital sex. I thought that is the, the first but then, the, in reality, the main reason is communication. Kayo pa nagpupusap kayo bilang mag-asawa. Even for 5 years, 10 years, kayo nag-date na ba kayo? You have to always go back to the before. Di ba? Ang sarap isipin na after 5 years, nag-date pa kayo. Hawak, magkahawak kamay pa kayo. Di ba? Parang ay sarap naman mag-asama kayo, magkahawag kamay. Hindi ko kinapakita nung gaano kamahal nyo ang bawat isa. Di ba? You have to make things happen through communication. Di ba? Manunggit ang sining, hindi kasama mo. Mga anak nyo. Spend time together. As mas panibay. Mag-dinner. Kami dyan lang sa pagpuan eh. So, na kami nun. Oh, at least nakakalbinir kami. May buffet na tig-35. Gusto na gusto na kami. Mag-isama kami. So, that is most important. Bilang mag-isawa, dapat, you have to make sure that nag-i-enjoy nyo ang company ng bawat isa. Kira? So, we have to do it para maging stronger ang ating relationship bilang mag-asawa. God's plan for the family. God has intended, I think, God's plan for the family. Let me share. Una, God has intended the family for the transmission of life. Umpisa yan. Una-una. Pangalawa, the family is a place for teaching children and training leaders. Pangatlo, the family is a domestic church. Kanina nga, ang na-mention ko yung ating ano, core values of this community is a core value. Diba? Sabi dito sa Familiaris Consorto 28, the fellowship Family fellowship. The fundamental task of the family is to serve life. To actualize in history the original blessings of the Creator. That of transmitting by procreation the divine image from person to person. That this is to serve life. Thank you. We make sure na huwag natin awalin ko na you seem to be here yung portion and all these things because it is big sin we have to treasure if God has given you a new life a baby remember that that is a gift from God. Even you as husband and wife is also a gift from God. So, we should pressure 
whatever gift that God to give to us. Male and female able to multiply and feed the earth. And then not independent individuals producing babies but husband and wife raising a family. Male and female, it is very clearly na male and female able to multiply and feed the earth. Ngayon, Sometimes, minsan, nagkakalitas na. And then, gusto mo na wala ka pang asawa. Sabihin mo, Lord, with my age, siguro hindi na magkakaanak. So, there's a lot of ways na ginagawa para na magkakaanak. Artificial. And then, yung pagka-inject ang tawag doon yung injection, di ba? para ano insemination but we don't go through the process the natural process kasi alam naman ni Lord kung kailan kayo bibigyan ng baby if you pray for it ask for it and believe will be given. But if you don't have the full faith sa pinagdarasal, it will not. Because you should have a complete surrender para ma-attain mo yung pinagdarasal. And you, when you pray, you should be synchronized. Kung ano yung prayer ng husband, you should also the same prayer. Kasi iba ang prayer pag kayong dalawa. Mas lalong malaki siya. How much more if you pray as a family? Kasi remember that we have a God that is so generous. Maybe sometimes when you pray, you are not able to get first what you're afraid. Kasi, there, must, there could be something wrong. Diba? Sabi nga, if you pray, you should call. Kung maga ang, ang naka-inventor of ng uh, cordless phone ay ating Panginoon. Kasi nakakatawag ka. You can call. And He's there upstairs in heaven waiting for us for our call. And his, his line is open 24 hours a day. Uh, sorry, 10 hours out a day, right? Seven days in a week. Yeah, that's 65 years. Two days in a year. So, you should be able to connect. When you are able to connect, and then you talk. But then, something in prayer, when you pray, <coughs> taintim, at hindi yung keep on talking. Dari mo na yung sinabi ko, Lord, Lord, pray you know, get that uh, so and so forth. But give time to listen. Kasi sometimes, when you listen, dahil nasasabi siya ng Panginoon kung ano ang solution o ano ang kailangan nyo doon sa pinag-pray nyo. So, ganun lang yan. When you pray, listen to what God will say to tell you. Because definitely, it has something. E kung pane, prayer mo, tuloy-tuloy, you are not giving the time for God to talk. That's why we have to Two way up and up. So Gandalan, you pray and then listen. But then when you say you you have you play your baby has to be husband and wife. Ngayon, 
Que ha hecho un... A ah, dito. Si babae sa babae, nagkakaroon, meron na rin silang baby. Kasi, yun eh, pina... pina Activity sa showbiz. Kasi sa showbiz, ano? Yung sa showbiz, yung isang uh, magaling na, ano, na designer, meron na siyang anak. Yung pala, yung kanyang, ano, pinagkabit doon sa in-inject doon sa isang Russian na uh, 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 tapos yan, may baby na siya saan ang galing? galing doon sa ibang insert na ito so but then it should not be the practice diba? being as a plan in white is it ever on baby? hindi yung magagaling doon pa sana eh this is not the way God was teaching Teaching and training leaders. Example like, since parents have conferred life on their children, they have a most solemn obligation to educate their offspring. His parents must be acknowledged as the first and foremost educators of their children. Your role as educator is to decisive that scarcely anything can compensate for their failure in Parents have the first responsibility for the education of their children. They bear witness to this responsibility first by creating a home where tenderness, forgiveness, respect, fidelity, disinterest, and service are. So, tayo being mga magulang. Sino sa inyo may mga anak? Mahalos lahat na kaya. Tapos, wala pa. That will be proper. For sure. Siguro itong other session is for you. Ito para sa prayer. Just ask for it. Kill word. And pray with your husband. May ano nga yan eh. We, we, we write, sometimes when we pray, we write our prayers. And then that letter, we put it on the altar. Just for us to be like, we take my prayers, you know, offer us. So, tayo, bilang maguna, dapat, nagagaling sa atin, we have to educate our children. Kumbaga, sinasabi na kung ano yung puno, kung siya ang bunga, di ba? Kung ano yung, paano mo pinalaki eh, ang inyong mga anak, siya rin ang magiging ano. If you teach them according to the Christian way, when they grow up, they will be a good children. And that is 100% sure they will grow up. But sometimes, because of what is happening in this world, you know, be, to this fast and changing world, if you compare, if you look at before and now, look at the difference, you know? It's totally different now. Kasi nung araw, araw ang data, tayo, when we are studying before, we look at the book. Diba? Doon tayo nag-aaral ng gusto. Kung na-develop na itong uh, laptop, iPad, doon na nag-release at truth. So, talagang iba na yun, know? iba na yung takbo meron. You know? For us as a parent, we make sure na proper guidance ang ibibigay natin sa ating mga anak. Hindi yung pagka-umiyak lang yung bata, Ipili mo ako ng, Ma, can you buy me a laptop? Can you buy me an iPad? Pag yung tila ibigay ni Ia, and para matahin, kasi ibibigay na, ibibigay na. That is not the proper, di ba? Dapat, nasa tama ang ating pagdidisiplina sa ating mga. If you want them to become a really a good children, 
then we have to teach them the proper way. Teach them the good moral values. Nasa school tayo, pinag-aralan natin yung good manners and right conduct, di ba? GMRC. Di ba? And then we have to set the rules in our family. Bigyan natin ng magandang value. You have to tell your children when you are talking to your to your friends or to your relatives, tell them, do not interfere when we are talking because it's not good. So when we are finished talking, maybe you can talk with, together. So then dapat proper guidance ang ano ang ibibigay natin sa atin talakayin natin sila na maging isang mabuting mga bata. And in the end, when they grow up, they will feel na maganda magpapalaki ng api. Magmula. Diba? Sabi nga sa Kaseben, everybody can be a father. True. Everybody can be a father. But it takes someone special to become a dad. Because you are there to listen. You are there to provide. And you are there to protect your children. If these things have shown it to your children, what will be the reaction of your children? Ang masasabi niya, napakaswerte ko ka na. Dahil mayroon akong magulang na talagang um, ang pagmamahal na ibinibigay niya sa akin ay truly genuine blood. So yun lang. We have to teach our children. If we want our children to grow as a better person. Amen? Amen. The family is a place to transmit transmit wisdom and values. This is what I mentioned earlier. We have to pass on to our children. Kung ano yung magandang kabutihan asal dapat hindi natin nagluto natin sa ating mga Good values, good behavior, yung love, siguro natin yung ating pagmamahal, integrity, honesty, and sincerity. You have to show them. You have to let your children feel your love. And for sure, Ganon din ang ibibigay sa ilang mga ano. Susuplihan din nila ng pagmamahal. When was the last time he said, I love you to your wife? Bro. Kanina? Bro. Yes, sir. Huwag tayong magsawa. Sabihin natin. Kahit sa telepono, kahit ka busy ka doon sa opisina, nagagawa, may ginagawa ka. When you call, Take time for one minute to call your wife. Sweetheart, how are you? I love you. Di ba? Ano sis ang nararamdaman nyo? Pag naririnig nyo yung salitang, sa galing sa aspan nyo na, I love you. Di ba? Ang sarap, ang sarap pakinggan, di ba? Pag kasi nabi ng aspan mo, I love you, sweetheart. Baka sabihin nyo, yung iba ang response, may kailangan ka na naman ano. <laughs> so, yun lang naman, you know, for being a father, we should give. Sabihin natin, huwag kang tayo may yan. Kami, for 20 years we've been married, I still say I love you to my wife. Kahit ka-busy ka, kahit ka-busy, 
I just have to say I love you. And even to my children, Panganay ko 28 years old. Pangalawa ko is 26. So still I tell them. And I give them protection. Let them feel that they are protected. Pagka, ga, kasi nag-work ang anak ng panganay sa hospital. So, minsan, shifting siya. So, pagka panggabi siya, bumi ng 10 o'clock, I make sure, pagbaba niya ng metro, nag-bus siya, dun sa bus stop, nandun ako. Yun ang kailangan. Tayo din ang magulang. Ipakita niyo yung pro naprotektado sila bilang they, they have to be protected. And then, of course, your children has to feel it. Tama naman nila yan na ganito ang pamahal ng magulang ko. Dahil sa protection, hindi lang yung patas ng pamahal. A leader received basic training in his own home. The same thing. As a father, we make sure na maging maayos ang pagpapalaki natin sa mga anak. Pero, ibig sabihin nito, a leader received basic training in his own home. We as a family, we as a Magulan, sa parent, huwag natin ipaabaya sa school. Sasabihin natin, okay lang. Nag-aaral naman yan. Tuturuan naman yan doon sa ano eh. Doon sa school nila eh. Na proper uh, characters. Pero mali eh no. It should start sa bahay natin. We should teach them the proper way in our home. Because in the end, this is what the society needs. Kung ang mga anak natin ay pinaka, pinalaki ng maayos, wala tapat tayong mga nag, the drugs. Wala tapat tayo na nakikita mga bata sa kalsada nag-aaway-aaway. Kasi doon pala sa ating bahay, pinalaki na natin sila ng tama. This is exactly what the society needs. It should start from us as a parents and it should start in our home. The Mr. George parents, especially fathers, are to be the priest and their families. I see a big priest hindi naman yung literally, hindi naman sinasabi na tayo mong pare. The gospel is transmitted ay, pray ko Pray. 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 Parents, especially fathers, are to be priests and their families. They present God to their families by their example of a living Christianity, by diligently teaching scriptures, by the use of symbols, they present their families to God, by family prayer, by blessing the children. So tayo, bilang magulan, we, we should, when we pray also, pray to Ask your children to pray together as a family. Kailangan natin yung kasama, kasama tayo sa family. Kasi with my experience, ano, alam ni Felicia, kasama, nagulat ako ah, kasama ko sa work. Ngayon, kaya naman dito, sa pagkala ko sa CFC, bakit hindi kita nakaimbitan mo nga? Ano hindi ko alam mo na nag-imbitan? Oo nga, nag-deny ko. Pero praise God. Talaga, hindi pa kanina sabi ko, there is always a uh, time na talagang para okay. Kaya nga. Uh, 
Social is transmitted Nasa ba? Hindi Yan nga um, We should include our children When we do When we have our prayer And also Dito sa community Then I Then later on, we will learn about the gift of the Holy Spirit. One of that is the yung uh, niya si Sa atin, inandawa ko rin sa mga bata, pag nagkakasabi, I make a pray over to them. In a pray over to them. And then, Siguro kasi na talaga, if you have strong faith in God, yung pray over mo, talaga, na, na, ano, na, na, uh, na, ano, na, 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 sa ato, parang, yan, yan, yan. Okay. Okay. Uh, God's plan for the family is not happening. Bakit yan? God has lost his central place in the family. Because parents no longer bring up their children in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. If we look at Ephesians 6 verse 4, it says here, Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. And also in uh, Ephesians 5, verse 20 to 25. Napakaganda dito. Isa sa mga pangunito ang verse. Ephesians 5, verse 22 to 25. Wives, submit to your husband. As to the Lord, for the husband <laughs> is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. His body and his himself is Savior. Now as the church submit to Christ, so also wives should submit in everything to their husbands. And husband, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up to care. Are we submissive to our... I was submissive ba tayo? Sa ating... Munta bigla yun, nagkaanama na yun. But then that is the uh, vision of me. At the end of the day, it is the husband who runs the family. What is the role of a good husband? Provider. Good husband. A good father. Protector. And a bad. <laughs> Absolutely right. Yeah. We do all things. Sa bahay. Pag may, pag may, uh, pag may ipapapfix yung cortina, ayaw gagawa na. Di ba? So we do a lot of things. What is the good quality of being a good husband? We should be faithful to our wife. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> what? Mm. 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 Happy every after. Kung gusto niyo magkagan, pagsasama ni Mias, magkasama mo. Be faithful to your wife. And why? Don't forget to be submissive to your husband. Nandun lagi. Dahil ang pagmamahalan niyo na talagang magbubunga ng maganda being a good follower of the Lord. His family, the family is losing its importance.
Many of its responsibility have been taken over by other groups in society. This is what I mentioned earlier. Pinapabena na natin yung school lang mag-move ng ating mga anak. But you should be the one to move them to be a good uh, children. Easy, why? Family is is important. Easy availability of modern recreation and communication facilities result in diminished interaction among family members. members. Diba? Because of this new technology, ano nangyayari? Facebook sa umaga, Facebook sa tangali, ang kapagtulog, ano pa rin? May Facebook pa rin. Sabi nga nila, mas, mas maswerte pa yung mobile phone eh. 24 hours kasama eh. Di ba? So, kasi if you spend time much of this sa mga gadget, then what happened to your quality time with your family? Nakawala. There is no interaction among the family. Kasi si tatay, nanonood ng TV ng basketball, si mami, hawak ang iPhone, chine-check yung messenger niya, kung oh, likes yung pinos ko. At yung mga anak, yung isa anak na doon sa laptop, naglalaro ng games. At yung aso, yun na lang ang naghahanap ng kausap, tawag ng tawag. It's a pity, isn't it? Because of this technology, what happened is, we lost interaction among the families. Make sure that spend time. Important yan. Spend time with your family. Not only time, but it should be a quality one. Nandun ka nga. May time ka nga. Pero yung nagsasabi, may sinasabi yan ako eh, hindi mo nang pinakilinggan. So, it's just this also, but we make sure that we spend quality times. And I want you to find this story, kasi wala nang tag niya. Hindi ko na may kikwento sa inyo. About buying times. It's a very buying uh, yung kanyang anak. He has to, to buy the one hour of his father time. Napakaganda. Then I read that, ako, bababa, duha ko eh. I cried. Kasi pag naalala ko yan, you know, kumbaga, ano eh, uh, napaka-importante. No? May mga trabaho tayo, fine. But what we are working for is for the family. Correct. But it doesn't mean that you have to sleep there. And you spend a lot of time in there. And leaving your children at home. And then when you go home, because you are so pressured in your work. Pinabasa ko ni John, alam mo yan? Inuuli ko na lang, sabi ko, so touching kasi napaka, matapatch ka talaga eh. Then, modern life was made, eh, ito nga, ang tapos natin. The family is under attack by evil forces. The evil, the evil wants to break up the family, promotes meditating to undermine the family such as secularism, materialism, relativism, and communism. Anti-life forces have become aggressive, the culture of death is threatened to minimize society through the promotion of abortion and contraception. Talagang ano yun, when you are closer to Lord, hindi naman may kapagkabihan yun. The good and the bad. When you are closer to God, 
you die, you will do things na mawala yung focus mo doon. You will try everything na mawala yung focus mo sa Panginoon. Kaya ngayon tayo, we are so fortunate lucky to be in this community. Kasi we spend time with prayers. We spend time with our couples and couples na walang we talk more about theology than ideology. We talk more about God. Kaya na, ano eh, so thankful that God has created this community couples for Christ. Na tayo being part of this community. And true for you, you are so blessed. Me, the service team, members of this community, we are blessed. That's why we are here to share the blessings to you. Whatever we have experienced, the blessings that we receive from God, we wanted to share. We will have the same blessing what God has given us as well. Yun lang ang amin na ibibigay sa inyo na may share namin yung blessing na binigay ng Panginoon. We want to share it to you. Amen. What can we do? Sa mga itong mga nangyayari sa buhay natin. What can we do? Make a decision. Make a decision that in your family, you want God's plan to happen. Dapat we have to be firm. Kapag kailangan, masunod. We will follow God's plan. Make time for the task of building a strong family. Examine your daily life to ensure that your family has enough quality time together. Be ready to reduce your other activities. If necessary, plan regular family recreation. Yan lang naman. Sabi yung plan. May ulo dito eh. Kami, I honor, honestly, I honor my wife. Kasi siya lagi nagpapaalala sa amin. Nagpapaalala sa amin. Mga anak, palapas na yung Superman. Manood tayo ng sine. So, i-schedule namin. Oh, hindi ako pwede si ganito, hindi ako pwede ganito. We end up to a midnight last phone show. Doon kami nagkakasundo. Saka doon kami nanonood. But then, what is important is, magkakasama kayo. Di ba? So, make a plan. Na magkaro kayo ng binding ng inyong family. Pray as a family. You know, the, the family that prays together prays together, which is very true. Pray together as family and attend a holy mass together. Pray the rosary as family. Pray over your children. Pray for healing of family members. Intercede for each other needs. So, get another prayer. Prayer. Always pray. <laughs> Fathers assume full responsibility for the spiritual and material things of the family. So, malaki ating responsibility being a husband. Fathers should assume the role of priest, provider, and protector. And the wife, of course, should support the husband. And not to take over the rules of a husband. Di ba? Baka mami eh, pag sinabi si husband na ganito, ganyan, ganyan. Bigla si mga pati si wife. Hindi, pwede yan. Ganito. So, dapat pag-usapan niya, no? Na maging 
Pag may decision kayo, pag-usapan nyo na what is the better for your family, yun ang dapat ang masyarakat. Diba? Na to take over the rule of a husband. Learn more about God's plan for your family. Attend teachings on Christian marriage and family life. And read Christian books and magazines. Ito yung ano eh. Dito sa amin, sa community, Couples for Christ, we have a lot of teachings. We have a lot of information. Pero, you will learn, on this teaching, you will learn a lot dito sa teaching na ito. Meron kami pinatawag na MER, Marriage Enrichment Retreat, para sa mag-asal. Dati na ito na namin yung 1, 2, 3, MER, 1, 2, 3. Napakaganda siya. Kaya nga, itong teaching na ito, it will enhance your bilang husband of God. Marami, marami yung teaching dito. Kaya yung focus yun talaga is magpupunta sa and it's a Panginoon and also in this community. And seek other couples. We have also household. May household kami pagka that way yun you will be given household. Ako may household, being a top leader na in this community, I have a household up, and may upper, may lower. Kaya, kaya tumataba niya. Kahit ng laya, as a fellowship eh, no? May take out time. Ganyan magmahalan dito sa community. Talaga gano, bubusugin ka talaga ng pagmamahal, pati sa pagkain. Uh, in conclusion, the Holy Family is our model. The Holy Family of Nazareth, this is our Lord Jesus, Mama Mary, Papa Joseph, is our model and ideal of every Christian family. So, we have to look after for them. We have to have to utilize our family members. They are holy, and we want to also look after for them. Also holy. Well, I'm. What you call this? Joseph is very obedient. He's not afraid to say the same thing again, right? Tapos nung nakita ni Mama Mary,
because God is always present in our daily life.